So, the preview picture might made it look like that my character looks like Ryan Gosling in let's call it movie Drive. Well, that's an accident. It wasn't intentional. I haven't actually seen the movie yet. Okay, so what's the car today? It's the Riptide Terrier. I don't. I don't really like this car. Like I don't like the exterior of it. Notice here, it has that. It looks too, too small and too compact for a supercar. See that the proportions just. Like the rear tires look enormous in the proportions of the of the whole vehicle. And in the front, I think it's it's too. You see that it's too. Too segmented. Okay, now the rear part, I, I think it looks like. And I think the developers generally made the rears of the cars look really nice in this game. It has that imposing supercar uh, rear part. Okay. I think it's one of the most expensive cars you can unlock in the game. So let's check out the interior. And it's a really cool feature when you open it. Check this out. Okay, I'll still look at the interior. Now, I don't like that... Like the... The steering column, like the ladder protruding like that, it doesn't look nice. So, however, the driving of this car is actually really fun because it has really stiff steering. The faster you go, and it's really precise on the steering. Okay, let's take a listen. Okay, a lot of engine torque, which will cause you problems if you accelerate and you're trying to turn at the same time. Other than that, it's actually really precise to steering. See here, it's it's really t gluing itself to the line you're driving. Which is really good for, for high-speed driving in the inner city traffic. And it's just beautiful, isn't it? Just early morning driving with full path racing on. Okay, now let's take a foot drive. Okay, in the north of the city, and let's just cut through a city. And there's nothing like driving in cyberpunk early morning while path racing on. As you can see here, there's a lot of engine torque, so you really have to work to control it as you're accelerating. And the weather's gonna get much nicer at the moment. I think it's scripted to always look this um, like like a sandstorm or some, some dirty weather when you're in the north, next to the office. Because it's actually quite more interesting to drive this car in inner city traffic. Because then it shows how precise the steering is on this one. Notice here, it really tries to stay glued on, on the center line. See that? Which makes it actually really pleasant to drive, even in city traffic. So the faster you drive it, the more control of the car becomes. The only problem you're going to have is as you're accelerating from slow speeds. Because then the engine torque will overwhelm you. I think there's no game like this. Like even GTA doesn't have a beautiful first person driving experience. Like in GTA 5. Third person driving is fun, but first person you notice the game wasn't built for it. But this game was actually built for first person driving. Because it put so much beauty in, into the, the cockpits and the way the camera moves. Because if you're working in animation or gameplay programming and you have to fine-tune that camera movement as you're driving or any action, that's extremely difficult to get right. Because if you get it wrong, it feels wrong, and it, it's not fun to play. And there's not going to be a game like this for a very long time, but driving is just going to be fun like that. Wonderful as he's accelerating like this. Yeah, and I'm already, almost lost control of it. Because it's extremely fast, and it accelerates fast. So if you're at a high speed, you have to slow down really quick, then you get into problems. Which is not a problem of the car, it's just... Uh, in real life, you wouldn't drive at crazy speeds like that in, in dense traffic. What this game really should have is pedal control that's adjustable. So for example, if I'm pressing to slow down to brake, it shouldn't like hit the brake full, it should like hit it at 30% pedal power. Because that's what you do in real life in most situations. And at first, when you're driving in first person, it might feel overwhelming. You might lose control of the side, or but 
you're supposed to drive it like that because then you get the full experience. You feel the cockpit, you feel the sound of the engine, and you really feel that you're inside the car. You don't feel detached like in third person. And I think it feels more rewarding because it doesn't take you out of the game world as much. That's beautifully satisfying this game. If you take a curve in just the right amount, and if the steering of the car is slow enough, because most cars in this game have like very violent oversteering. And this one of the cars in this game where they actually find you that's so not too much. I think this game makes you happier as a person when you boot it up every day for half an hour, set full path racing on and drive a nice car through the city. And you do it in first person. And it feels the most rewarding when you manage to do it without a single crash or bump in the car. Just feeling the acceleration of it, and that's beautiful. So I'm actually doubting that even GTA 6 is going to be able to top it. Because I think it's going to be a great game with a lot of more gameplay systems that Cyberpunk is going to have. But I wonder if they're going to make the first person driving experience as good. Because that's unique to this game. And for me this game has always been a, a driving game. Oh, that's a nice white car for take. As you can see, the game actually runs quite smooth on my machine. It's a 4060 uh, graphics card with full path tracing, and I'm playing on 1920 times 1080 resolution. So for the most part, the graphics card like that is actually good enough to, to experience the game at full path tracing. See, one problem is that you, if you have to precisely st um, slow down the car, you have two choices, just let go of acceleration, which is more precise. It doesn't always slam the brakes too much because you just decelerate, but it sometimes it's not enough. And if you press decelerate, it's it's always too much, which feels a bit too choppy. But overall, this is a very fun cartograph. It doesn't look that nice, I think. It, it's it's too paneled in the way it looks, but just the precision of, of the steering, it, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. And let me know in the comments which Kai you would like to see reviewed next.